Today I want to share with you guys a free and open source game called Unvanquished. Unvanquished is a first person shooter, free and open source software, and cross platform. It's available on Windows, Mac, and Linux. I've been playing it a lot here the last few days, and I've been very impressed with it. I've been very impressed with the gameplay, with the artwork, the design. I've been very impressed with the music, and just everything about the game. I think it's a very professional product, and I think it's a shining example of just how good free and open source gaming can be. Now one thing to know about Unvanquished is a first person shooter, but it's a team based first person shooter. There's two teams. You're either on the alien team or you're on the human team. Uh, so it's really neat because humans are slow. They have human like weapons, you know, guns and flamethrowers and saws and things like that. And of course the aliens are just these monstrous aliens that move very fast, much faster than humans. They're much stronger than humans. They can crawl on walls and ceilings and things like that. It's just a really interesting take on the uh, team-based first-person shooter, so it's really cool. And you can see the splash screen here. It's very nice, beautiful artwork. All right, so do we want to join Team Aliens or Team Humans? I'm going to join the Alien Team first, just so you guys can see how fast and how crazy these alien creatures move. Uh, now you have two different alien forms to choose from. You also have two different human forms to choose from. The aliens, you can either be the Dretch or the Granger. The Dretch is just this small little fast alien that runs around and tries to kill humans. The Granger is kind of like a construction builder type alien. And what does he build? Well, he's building like egg pods that explode more aliens and some little spiky traps and things like that. I'm going to choose the Dretch. So this is this little small, fast, spider-like alien that runs around. And again, I can crawl on walls and ceilings and I can move around. And when I find a human, I just attack him. I bite him like one time, typically. They'll die. <laughs> like, like we're so much stronger than the humans. It, it's kind of awesome. There's one. Oh, he's got a gun. But can I get him? I got him. Or did I? I think he got away from me. Oh, <laughs> well, I was gunned down by a machine gun turret. So, me chasing that uh, that human, I ran right into their base where they had some machine gun turrets set up. Because their construction builders, the human construction builders, they, instead of laying like egg pods like the alien builders do, they lay uh, machine gun turrets all around the place. So you do have to be very careful because those are very strong guns and they'll get you really quick. Well, and of course I'm, I ran right into the machine gun turrets again. <laughs> this is, this is pretty intense. You know what? I'm going to go back to the team selection. Let's go ahead and join the human team. Because this is kind of interesting. I'm going to choose SMG. I'm assuming stands for submachine gun. It's, it's, uh, you just start as a like a soldier or construction kit. I'm going to choose the construction kit because I want to build stuff. And I'll show you exactly what you do when you have this kind of weapon right here. It's not really a weapon. It's a construction kit. And I can go, for example, build a drill. Now these drills, you put them all around the base, you want to spread them out. If you build them too close, you actually lose build points. But if you spread them out, you gain build points. And the more build points you have, the more you can build stuff like these machine gun turrets. Which I definitely need to build some right now, because we're getting our butts kicked, it looks like, by these aliens in this game. Uh, let me go build some more. I'll build another drill. Again, we want to build it as far away from the last one as we can. Except I don't want to do it on the other side of this door, because I think there's going to be some aliens there. Put a machine gun turret right here. And actually, we better do more than one machine gun turret. Ah, and of course the little <laughs> dretch got me. <laughs> you can see the little spider-like creatures. And they're so strong, especially since I'm one of the construction guys here. My armor is not very strong. One hit from uh, the aliens typically kills me. And they took out that machine gun turret that I had there. That's not good. Let's build some more machine gun turrets. Well, well, they took them all out. Yeah, we're not doing good here. And there's like a six second delay between building items. All right, oh. 
You see this uh, machine gun turret that they damaged? I can heal it by just getting on it. Well, they took it all the way down to zero, so I can't save it. It's going to explode. I got to get away from it before it explodes. Anyway, just cool gameplay, cool graphics. Like, I love everything about this. It's very difficult playing as the, the builder. <laughs> like, it's just, you know, trying to spread these drills out and then trying to get the uh, turrets in good places that are good lines of fire. And, and of course, the aliens are so strong. It doesn't take them long to destroy these turrets. Like that one right there. And the other one never, never fired. I don't know why it didn't. Well, I'm just going to sit here and try to heal it. Uh, let me go ahead and choose the SMG kit. So I'm just going to start with a machine gun here. And show you what the soldiers move like. Yeah, this is more standard kind of first person shooter speed, right? Oh. Alright. I'm going to kill that spider. I'm going to get revenge from you guys destroying all my machine gun turrets before. Alright. Let's go look for some big aliens. Oh, there's one. And he got me. Or did he? I'm stuck. But <laughs> I think I killed him. Or at the very least, somebody else killed him before he killed me. I'm out of ammo. Well, I don't know how I survived that. Well, I guess I didn't. <laughs> it's pretty intense. Let's go back to team selection. I'm going to join Team Aliens again. Let's choose the Dretch, because I want to do this small, fast alien creature. Let's go get the humans. All right. Let's go get them. Boy, it's hard. It's hard going from humans to aliens, because the movement is so different as far as the speed and everything. And he got me. <laughs> uh. Well. Let's change. Uh, can we change what we are? Yeah, we can change forms. The tyrant. I uh, can't unlock that. What else can I? I can be the mantis. Oh, you got different aliens you can choose from. So what I did is this a thing here. I go up to it and I hit Q on the keyboard. And I got different uh, weapon selections. If I'm a human or as an alien, I get uh, different forms uh, that I can morph into. The human uh, version of that device actually looks different, but that's where you go to get body armor and different machine guns and things. But now that I'm the Mantis, hopefully I'm a, a stronger, better alien than the one before. <laughs> I still can't kill anything. <laughs> Yeah, this is such a, a strange game. Now, let me join the humans one more time if I can. And I'll once again, join the humans and choose the SMG kit. And let me show you where I can change. Is this the device? I hit Q. No, it's a different device. That's it's another big device, though, that I can go and get body armor. Right, that's it right there. I hit Q, and instead of the submachine gun, if I wanted uh, like a the chainsaw or a flamethrower, whatever, you know, I, I can do that. I can go to upgrades. I can get better armor, which is definitely needed because by default, the armor you start with is very weak, and the aliens typically will kill you in one hit. So now I've upgraded the armor a little bit. Hopefully, I last a little longer. And of course, you got to reload the submachine gun anyway. So <laughs> you do run out of ammo. And you've only got so many reloads, too. And then once you're out, you're out. And then you go purchase a different weapon from that, uh, that locker. And I'm out of ammo. And I'm <laughs> backing up trying to reload. <laughs> Anyway, this was uh, just a very cursory look at a really cool game in Unvanquished. Again, free and open source, available on Windows, Mac, and Linux. I played several hours of Unvanquished here this week um, because I do like first-person shooters. I don't do a lot of gaming. I can go weeks at a time without ever playing a computer game. But when I do game, you know, one of the favorite genres for me is first-person shooters because it's not like a 
like a role playing game that you get immersed in and have to play for weeks at a time. A first person shooter, I can do exactly like I did here on camera, play for 10, 15 minutes frag as many people as I can and then get the heck out and then go get some work done and that's what I'm about to do right now anyway before I go I do need to thank a few special people I want to thank the producers of this episode Gabe James Mitchell Paul Scott Wes Akami Alan Chuck Commander Angry Kurt Dioka David Dylan Gregory Heiko Lee Maxim Michael Mike Nitrix Erion Alexander Peace Arch and Fedora Polytech Raver Red Prophet Steven and Willie these guys they're my highest tiered patrons over on Patreon without these guys this episode about Unvanquished would not have been possible the show is also brought to you by each and every one of these ladies and gentlemen as well. All these names you're seeing on the screen right now, these are all my supporters over on Patreon because I don't have any corporate sponsors. I'm just sponsored by you guys, the community. If you like my work and want to support me, please consider subscribing to DistroTube over on Patreon. All right, guys. Peace. And yes, I named my player RTFM.